Hello everyone. Are you curious about how Antarctic expeditions get their supplies? Let's explore. Antarctica, the southernmost continent on Earth, is one of the most remote and inhospitable places on the planet, known for its extreme cold, harsh weather conditions, and vast expanses of ice and snow. Despite its rugged and unforgiving environment, Antarctica has been the focus of scientific research and exploration for over a century, with expeditions from around the world venturing to the continent to study its unique geology, climate, and ecosystems. One of the most essential aspects of any Antarctic expedition is the logistics of getting supplies to the continent, including food, fuel, equipment, and other essential provisions needed to support the expedition's objectives. Providing supplies to Antarctic expeditions presents numerous challenges due to the continent's extreme climate, remote location, and limited infrastructure, but researchers and support staff have developed innovative strategies and techniques to overcome these obstacles and ensure the success of their missions. The logistics of supplying Antarctic expeditions typically begins long before the expedition itself, with careful planning and preparation to ensure that all necessary supplies are acquired, organized, and transported to the continent in advance of the expedition's arrival. This may involve coordinating with suppliers and logistics providers to procure food, fuel, equipment, and other provisions, as well as arranging for transportation and storage of these supplies in preparation for shipment to Antarctica. Once the supplies have been acquired and organized, they are transported to Antarctica via ship or aircraft, depending on the location and timing of the expedition. Most supplies for Antarctic expeditions are transported by ship, which offers a cost-effective and efficient means of delivering large quantities of cargo to the continent. Ships typically depart from ports in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, or South America, depending on the expedition's point of departure and intended destination in Antarctica. Shipping supplies to Antarctica presents numerous challenges due to the continent's extreme climate and harsh weather conditions, including sea ice, icebergs, and unpredictable storms. Ships must navigate through treacherous waters and ice-covered seas to reach their destination, often encountering rough seas, high winds, and freezing temperatures along the way. Despite these challenges, experienced captains and crew members work tirelessly to ensure the safe and timely delivery of supplies to Antarctic expeditions. In addition to shipping supplies by sea, some expeditions may also use aircraft to transport supplies to Antarctica, particularly for expeditions to remote or inaccessible locations. Aircraft such as cargo planes and helicopters can deliver supplies directly to expedition sites, reducing the time and cost associated with transporting supplies by ship and providing greater flexibility in accessing remote or difficult-to-reach areas of the continent. Once the supplies have arrived in Antarctica, they are typically unloaded and transported to the expedition's base camp or research station using a combination of vehicles, sleds, and manpower. In some cases, supplies may need to be airlifted or transported overland using specialized vehicles such as snowmobiles or tracked vehicles, depending on the terrain and accessibility of the expedition site. Once the supplies have been delivered to the expedition site, they are unpacked, organized, and stored in preparation for use during the expedition. This may involve setting up temporary shelters or storage facilities to protect supplies from the elements and ensure that they remain secure and accessible throughout the duration of the expedition. In addition to providing supplies for daily living and scientific research, Antarctic expeditions must also plan for the disposal and recycling of waste generated during the expedition. This may involve collecting and storing waste in designated areas, separating recyclable materials from non-recyclable waste, and following strict environmental regulations and guidelines to minimize the impact of human activities on Antarctica's fragile ecosystems. In conclusion, supplying Antarctic expeditions presents numerous challenges due to the continent's extreme climate, remote location, and limited infrastructure. However, researchers and support staff have developed innovative strategies and techniques to overcome these obstacles and ensure the success of their missions. By carefully planning and coordinating the acquisition, transportation, and storage of supplies, Antarctic expeditions can ensure that they have the resources they need to conduct scientific research, explore the continent, and safely return home. The goal of this channel is to answer all the questions in the world in video format. After we achieve it, when you search for anything on internet, you will be able to watch a video answering your question instead of reading an article. However, if we want to achieve our goal of answering 1 million questions, we need your help. Please support us on Patreon by using the link in the description.
In exchange, we will feature your name in up to 1000 videos every single month. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, follow the channel for more related content, and see you later. Goodbye.